What's going on everybody? We're back today at one of my favorite lakes. If you uh, have watched the channel for a while, you'll be familiar with it. One different thing is this year, they've made the rental electric motors twice what they cost last year. So for a whole day, instead of $90, it's $180 now. So our buddy gave us a trolling motor and we went and bought a battery and it seems to be working. So saving some money, finally got a motor. Don't, don't own my own boat yet. We're working on it, we're getting there, but we'll be there eventually. But for now we got what we need and let's get fishing. Conditions right now are still water, like four, six feet of visibility. There's some wind, but not enough to even make ripples on the water really. I'd say very fair conditions. We brought back the old trusty SLX rod for flipping. Let's see what standing up here feels like. Put it on a few pounds since last time. What does it look like? Some good action on that. Some old school flipping going on right here. Trying to keep it up shallow. And then if magic doesn't happen pretty quickly, then flip into the next spot. Hmm, I think the uh, water viz may have gone down, not a whole lot, but a tiny bit from uh, last week when we were here, because there was a pretty crazy storm that had happened. Okay, a fish. Got one. First lock. Bass of the year. Yes, sir. He felt like he kept grabbing it and spitting it. Thank you. Classic. A lot of the times where there's one dinky boy like that, there's more. Let's go ahead and investigate. <laughs> one fish is more than no fish. I'm breaking in the new motor. That's nice. We need, we need uh, the biggest of the year. If I could only catch one more fish and it was a six pounder, that would be awesome. One fish out of here is more than no fish, but it's not enough fish. Okay. Spot had a fish, but doesn't have a bajillion fish. So let's think about it. That one fish we caught was on a wood stump, slightly off the bank, in a creek sort of arm so I think looking for shallow secondary points with wood might be the strategy for today so we're gonna go with that see how it pans out well I actually did a pretty good job on can I do it again Oop. the answer is no nope. Had a fish bite it, but he didn't eat it. You think? In here, there'd be some fish. I don't really seem to be too into the idea of uh, stuff that's moving. So maybe I'll just pick up the Texas rig again here in a second. Womp womp. It's uh, one fish in two hours so far. It's not the worst day, it's, uh, but it's as close as you can get to skunking. <laughs> I 
That's fine though, because we're looking for him. We're finding him. Just not, just not hot yet. You know what I mean? Maybe we just haven't found the right spot yet, you know? All right. Get it, Jimmy. You're not happy. There's a hook in your face. It's another Jimmy. Probably a little less than a pound. Must have ate it while it was falling because I didn't really get anything except for dead weight right there. It's like zero wind, just flipping a T-rig into this wood. We know that there's fish in here. Just finding the right one can be kind of tricky. Where they at though? Where they at though? Alrighty. All right, y'all, we came to the other side of the lake. right where we caught our first uh, four pounder out of lock. This little cove right here. Got it. It's a good one. There we go. Yes, sir. Put on the jig, get a little better quality. Heck yeah. Yep, forgot classic pre-spawn. <sighs> got some sharp teeth, got a chubby old belly. I'm gonna guess two and a half. Went away a fish today, so. We're going to do that. Two point four two, two point four. Heck yeah, boys! It's a two point four. Let's get him back. It's not the uh, PB, but. It's the biggest fish today. Gotta love that jig bite. All right, back he goes. Straight back down. Heck yeah. And how is our jig looking? Is our jig looking good? Still got all our appendages. Looks good to me. Can we get another one over here? Flipping these reeds. Nope. Motor and battery so far, you know, knock on wood, have been good, you know? I don't think, I don't know if my motor says what a, what battery it's at, but so far it hasn't slowed down and I've used it pretty good for some trolling purposes. It's nice to have my own motor. It just means more places I go, I don't have to pay as much and not paying as much is pretty big in my book. I like not paying a bunch of money. Paying a bunch of money is not what I prefer to do. It's a high pressure system that rolled in today after a pretty significant low pressure system. So it makes sense why all these, makes sense why all these bass are just being low and slow. I mean, I'll probably pick up the spinner bait a little bit in the afternoon once the wind comes back up, but Till then, just jigs and T-rigs. Good old jigs and T-rigs. 
There, there has to be a YouTube channel called just Jigs and T-Rigs. If not, opportunity for somebody out there. I don't know. I'm not making it. Approximately 10 hours later. Alright, last cast today. We're gonna get a scrub at the boat. It's the biggest one of the day too, of course. Right at the frickin' launch. <laughs> right at the launch area. Of course. <laughs> Top of the mouth. Yes, sir. Fatty. I'm gonna guess close to four pounds, maybe even four pounds. Uh, it's a good thing we decided to stop. Let's get a weight. Ugh. Yes, sir. A nice fatty. Let's see. Yeah, I'm guessing four. Saying three six five 3.7 almost a four pounder just a little short of being four pounds yes sir nice fish though very nice fish we like Very cool fish. All right, back you go, bud. There he goes. All right. It was worth making casts at the boat dock before we went in. Hell yeah, dude. On the old Texas rig. On the old Texas rig craw. Catches fish. There's no doubt about the fact that it catches fish. And one thing I'm liking about these uh, new Rapala uh, Crush City. Shut up, helicopter. One thing I'm liking about these new Rapala Crush City craws is compared to Guggen, they, uh, they don't rip. But they're still very movement-y in the water. Which is pretty sweet, if you ask me. Yeah, most a lot. It's interesting, man. A lot of these fish today. Actually, I think every fish except for the first one. The way that they're eating it is. It must be when it's falling down because I'm not feeling the normal grab and suck. It's so normally when they eat craws, they grab the claws, let it go, and eat it again. So you feel like a tick, tick. But today it's just been, I've thrown it, thought that something felt weird, and then just had like weight on the end of my line and set the hook. <laughs> 